Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you this new display I just got. Looks just like this. Stands up. It's totally wireless. And wait, this isn't actually a display. This is my iPad. It's my iPad. So I'm going to get this as my connector to my iMac. Well, let's go on and let's dig right into it. All right, so we're here with Air Display from Avatron. This is an iPad and iPhone application. I'll show the iPhone app here in just a second. But it's not as near it's not near as impressive as the iPad's display because the bigger screen, bigger resolution, things like that. But this is Air Display. A really neat application. Here is actually the startup screen for the application. It tells you how to install it, how to connect it, things like that. And I'm gonna go on and show you these things here really quick. So first you're gonna go on Avatron's website and you're gonna download the uh, um, the application to do this. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you, you know, where to get it because there's no purpose unless you've got the app, and then they'll tell you where it is. So, no purpose in that. But you'll get the application, and you'll stick a menu bar icon up on your Mac, and you'll click it, and you'll hit Turn Air Display On if it's not already on. I turned mine on for this video purposes, and this, so you're going to turn that on. And by the way, before I get too deep into this, uh, currently there is no PC support, but I hear they're working on it. So. I'm sorry, PC users out there. But here is the menu bar icon. You can see my iPad right here. I'm going to click on it. Just going to think for a second. Or I didn't click on it right there or something. Huh. There it goes. Sorry about that, guys. There it comes up. Here's my iPad. I've got my own uh, wallpaper here. Sorry about that early. I don't know what the deal was. It took a second. But here it is. And let me show you system preferences here real quick. If you go to display preferences, you can, and this actually sets up like an actual display. So you can mirror the display if you want to, you don't have to do that. You can adjust where you want the display to be at. You could set that as your main display if you wanted to by dragging the menu bar wherever you want to take it. You can go over to the actual iPad, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, and change different things like that. You can change your wallpaper if you want to by just going into uh, a desktop and screen savers and you can go over here and change that to absolutely whatever you like so I can change it to that if I want to or that I'll leave it let's actually do a solid color for this video so we'll do that and we'll also get a bit, of, a bit better performance out of it if you've got a solid color so it doesn't have to keep refreshing that image so I've got this set up here as you can see, and this works, and like I said, it's just like another display. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up iTunes here, and this is my podcast section. I like to watch a lot of video. And I'm going to shrink this down to this size. I think that should fit on it. And then we're just going to take it over here. And that's the corner I've set up. You can set up whatever corner you want. As you can see, it's still not big enough or small enough. And that's the problem I have with this app is, you know, even if you've got a 13-inch, a you're still going to find yourself resizing windows a lot of times to get it to fit in a smaller area. So here it is. I'm not, let me go on and show you how a video plays in here. So uh, we'll go on and let's pick something here. Let's do the Mac World video. That'd be cool. That, that went a long time. And it'll actually come out through my iMac speakers. But here it is. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. And I just went to the next one on accident there. But it's watchable, but it's not the super high frame rate. You know what I mean? So there you have it. What I like to use this for is actually with music. Because I found most of the iPod app for the, uh, for, uh, the, the iPad isn't that great. But if you stick iTunes on it, it becomes really great. So I'm going to move myself here, turn my wheelchair on, turn it off for videos. And I'm going to get myself in here real quick, lower it down, and you can actually just use your fingers. So I've got my finger here, and I'm going to see if I can get this just right. I miss a lot. I missed again. And there, I grabbed it that time, and you can actually use the touch screen to control the mouse, and it's really nice, and especially if you've got a stylus. I use this with a capacitive stylus once, but if you've got a stylus, it works beautifully. And you can actually pick a song, so... Uh, Black Eyed Peas, and you can play that song right there. You can, you know, also, you know, and this works beautifully. It's really quite impressive when you've got, you know, and it's, pretty, it's really responsive, actually. The only problem I have is whenever you tap, it taps right where, or the mouse shows up right under your fingers. You can't really 
tell where you're tapping, and you can tell that Mac OS X wasn't made for touch input. So uh, there you have. That is uh, you know kind of a bit of the touchscreen capabilities. And I can obviously bring this back over, and it refreshes much quicker on my uh, iMac, of course. And you can do this for tons of things. I like doing that. You know, you can do that for a website per se. So I'll load up my favorite website here. And uh, here's my favorite website. And I can shrink this down and bring that over here. And now you can keep your favorite website over here. And you could refresh it as often as you want. For some reason, that video's not showing up. That's really cool. Uh, I'll get right to work on that. But it's just really kind of neat. And, that, and that's what I can do. And uh, it's looking like it's a Safari issue because those work because those videos worked yesterday. YouTube or Safari issue, but they worked the other day. So uh, and you can basically keep your favorite website over here. And my last favorite use for it is kind of keeping it it's like a dashboard. So I'll keep uh, you know my Tweety widget over or my Tweety app over here, which you know brings up the reason why don't you just open up the Twitter app on your um, iPad. I don't know. Um, so I can do that, I can stick, say, iChat over there, Safari if I wanted to, and it just works like that, it's really neat. And now let's get on to the iPhone app, shall we? And there is Air Display, I don't know if you can see it right up there, but I've got the Air Display app on my iPhone, and I can actually tap Air Display and launch up the app. And I do have my phone on airplane mode, but I do have Wi-Fi enabled, so this will work. I just don't want any calls to disrupt me while I'm doing this, like, I, like they usually do. And uh, so I'm going to click Air Display again, and there comes up my iPhone. So I'm going to click it, and uh, I'm guessing like last time, it's going to take a second to think. And there it goes, and we already, and I believe it's already loaded up. So now if I go over here, you can actually see my mouse. Yeah, it's coming through. It's kind of small. <laughs> for It's like an, only an 800 by 600 display, so it's really small. Even some of your smallest apps won't fit over here. So if I take Tweety... I'm going to make this as small as I possibly can and bring it over here. It still doesn't all the way fit in here. So uh, I really don't know the real purpose of this other than them just having it. I think it was the only purpose of them making this app. But it is here, I guess. And, uh, you know, the only real purpose I see for this is if you want to store a document there or something. Uh, say, I don't know, a cool picture like this. Take this picture, drag it over here, and you can keep some documents over here. It's the only really purpose I see for this, but one thing I do want to show you guys here. Let me drag this over here. Actually, no, I'll just leave it there. And if I drag that there and actually close out this application, it will usually, not always, but it will usually pop a window. I believe this is multitasking enabled. So if I double click the home button, and I'll say I go to settings first. I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to launch an air display, and there it was right where I left off. It is iOS 4 compatible, so you do get that awesome compatibility. And as you can see here, there is the multi-touch at work. So if I drag and click it, I can drag it wherever I want to, or I can double click to open it. And there it's open on my, my iMac. So there you have it. That is Air Display for iOS. It works on the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. All right, this app is $9.99 in the App Store. It's about 10, which is obviously $10, rounded up one cent. Uh, big deal. <laughs> but this app is $9.99 in the App Store. I really like it. Um, how I can recommend it. I really like it for the iPad because it has a bigger screen, bigger resolution, and it's mainly, I think, best if you have a laptop, so a MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. That's when the application really shines and I think really does its best. If, um, if you say a desktop, you know, like a 27-inch iMac, and this application like I do, I can't really say how useful it is because it's not that awful useful because you've got plenty of screen space already. And, you know, the iPhone app, if you only have an iPhone, I really can't recommend this application because the screen's just not big enough. The resolution of the screen is not big enough, and I don't see them selling three and a half inch uh, computer displays anytime soon. But I just wanted to bring that up there and show you guys this application and show that it is here and it does work. Um, I would like to thank Avatron for sending this over to me. And uh, that's about it. Um, uh, don't forget to enter my give. A, a, if you subscribe, you're automatically entered to win a ten dollar iTunes gift card. So make sure you um, a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.